In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what retail concept traders were looking at when they were looking at GU compared to how institutional and smart money traders were thinking at the time. And by the way, guys, I know, look, I did this before and I got tons of stick. I got tons of stick. People are literally cussing mine off. People are doing all kinds of things on in the comment section. All I'm trying to do is spread some light. All I'm trying to do is share some knowledge with you guys because if I can just give you guys a pinch of that, maybe you might think, hmm, maybe there is a difference. M maybe there is a difference between how we trade and let me let me just, let me see how it goes. Let me just, let me back test a little few things here and there. That's all I'm trying to do. Don't be trying to come at me. <laughs> and by the way, I do love retail concept traders. And like I said in my previous video, look, I am a retail trader. We all, everyone watching this video right now, you're a retail trader, but it doesn't mean we trade retail concepts. I trade smart money institutional concepts you might trade retail concepts and there's some retail traders who do win out there they do and i'm not saying these retail concepts don't work in a, in a sense i'm not saying that because you can be a retail trader and be catching some pips and you know when to close your trade and all of that stuff but the majority of retail traders do not trade like the pro pro i mean the the heavily pro retail traders who like to take money quickly the majority of retail traders they don't just want 30 pips they don't just want a couple of pips they want the big moves. But anyway, enough babbling, enough waffling on. I'm gonna get straight into this now. Let's look at what retail would have been seen first when they looked at GU. Here you can see GBP USD. I am on a replay mode, just so you guys don't see what happened next. When it comes to retail trading, they like to drop support and resistance zones like this. They like to drop support and resistance zones. And guess what? I don't blame you because this is how you were taught in the very beginning. This stuff was instilled, imprinted in you guys, and it constantly plays people. You might catch a few pips, but who wants a few pips? You want the big moves. I know I'm on a daily. It doesn't really matter what time frame you see on i'm just on the daily time frame right now so this is why the pips are going to be a bit larger than normal but ain't nobody trade off the daily i'm just showing you this on a daily time frame but this is why i brought our course this is exactly the reason because people have been taught this stuff in the very beginning it's been instilled within them it's become part of their core stability in forex and so this is why i'm flipping the whole script i'm changing the game bringing out a foundational forex course that literally changes this you don't learn the stuff in the course you start your forex journey off correctly so that's the whole point of the whole course but anyway guys so what would they have been thinking because i'm showing you retail first they would have been probably thinking okay let's see what happens when price gets down here because check this out price has bounced off of here once it's struggled here multiple times it's rejected off of this level over here and a little small rejection here surely this must be a strong zone surely price must hold up from here surely this must be the beat all and end all and not only that they were also thinking if they drop a fibonacci from this low to this high so here boom i've got my 61 fibonacci on from this low to this very high price is at the 61 fibonacci my gosh this is the, all kinds of confluences happening right now. All kinds of confluences happening right here. This is what they're thinking. I'm just running you through what they're thinking. And not only that, what are they looking at as well? They're looking at, look, these highs have been violated. Highs, highs, highs. Multiple highs have been violated. So they're going to be thinking, okay, cool. So highs have been violated. Now there's a market flow switch because they're probably looking at something like this. Like that's a high, that's a low, high, low, high. Let's just put low there. And then a, a big push up here. Maybe they might have done this. They might not have done that one. But look, either way, multiple highs have been violated. So they're probably thinking that too. So I'm going to take all of that off real quick. So in other words, they got tons of confluence. Confluence is just how many kind of confirmations that can you get to confirm that price wants to go in your direction. So multiple confluences, break of structure, so bounce of support. That was once resistance. 61 Fibonacci. Surely this must work. This is what they're thinking. And I'm going to play it out for a little bit. I'm going to play it out for a little bit. Let me just hit play. And let's do what candle at a time. So look, they get their bounce because you you know what retail always get the little bounce they always get the bounce right and like i said yes i'm on the daily time frame so yes these pips are going to be big ain't nobody trade off the daily time frame i'm just giving you an example of the daily time frame so yes there's going to be a big move but you're most likely going to be trading off the 50 minute time frame or the one minute time frame so these moves aren't going to be hundreds of pips they're going to be you know probably 10 20 30 pips or so ain't no retail want just 20 pips unless you're a scalper if you're a scalper then 20 pips is blessed or even five 10 pips is blessed if you're trying to get to grips with forex you want that 50 to 100 pips so they get their bounce as retail do they normally get their bounce at all times so after they get their bounce look what happens i'm gonna hit play some more yeah no hate to you guys price is consolidating so this is what retail like to trade consolidation too but i'm not talking about that here so let's keep it moving i'm gonna go one more candle boom there we go now they get stopped out they get stopped out 
the 61 Fibonacci bounce did not hold. They give you a bounce at that level, but it doesn't hold, especially if you have other agendas. There's, there, there are going to be times this does hold, right? Not the, the, the number 61.8. I'm just talking about how far it's retraced. When it retraces roughly about 61%, sometimes it does hold. But the majority of the time, if there's an overall bias and overall agenda, then this won't hold. We take out the stop losses beneath. You have to remember how retail are conditioned. What they're conditioned to do is jumping at the 61, put your stop loss beneath the 78.6 fib because they're just using these levels. And look how far it drops just beneath the 78.6 fib. Let's just say you was trading off the daily time frame and you tried to hold this trade stop loss beneath here. You would have got stopped out because your stop loss would have been break even because retail taught when it goes maybe 10 pips, maybe 20 pips in profit, move your stops to break even. And so you would have been stopped out, maybe stopped out in profit. Those people that didn't close off their trade for whatever reason, they could have closed above this high. They could have used a structural point to close above a high. And if you did, you know, that's blessed. If not, you would have been stopped out in profit. But the people that thought that I really want this high over here, I really want it, I really want it. When you get the bounce off the 61, target the current high, which is what they're taught. When it came down, they were holding on for their life and they were forced out of the trade. Those people that didn't collapse their trade or didn't get stopped out in profit were forced out of their trade. And it bounced to the second support zone. Because don't forget, there's multiple support zones. If one fails, they go to the next. Look at this bounce. When they get this wick rejection, what do you think the opinion is? Okay, so this must be the zone. Guys, this must be the zone, man. I, I must have thought it was the 61. I meant the 78 Fibonacci. Look at that wick rejection. If you didn't get in from the beginning, then I don't know for your life, but get that rejection candle. Make sure you get a rejection candle and then you, yeah, take it up. So that's what they're probably thinking. They're probably thinking, the cool, this, re this rejection is absolutely mind blown. This, this is it. Off the 78 Fib and they're getting that rejection. Let me play some more. They got their rejection candle. And now, what do you think is going to happen? What kind of opinion does it put out there? We got the rejection off the 78.6 Fibonacci level. We got the rejection off the zone. That's two. It closed in a similar level. This is a kind of equal lows. They're getting all kinds of confirmation. All kinds of confirmation. That's what they're getting. And now let's see what else happened. And now I'm going to hit play to show you guys what happened. There we go. I'll just quickly pause it. Now they have proper equal lows at the 78.6 Fibonacci. Guys, look, if you're not buying now, guys, if you're not buying right now, you're playing yourself. Look, we've got the equal lows. We've got the 78 bounce. Look, guys, what else do you want? That's confidence right there, man. Spoiled me, bruh. This is another kind of bullish sign to them because this is what's been built in them from the very beginning. Their, their foundations are just rocky and it's off. Do you understand? And so when they get their equal lows, those who would have been, you know, super eager would have jumped in from the very equal lows. And so they would have got the wick entry. Those who would have waited, would have waited for the rejection candle and jumped in at the high over here, jumped in at the high. And then they would be targeting some kind of one to three or something like that. Don't watch the pips in this. Yeah, don't watch the pips in this because this is a daily time frame. I'm just showing you guys this. I'm just showing it to you guys on this time frame. So they would have gone for a one to three. This is a one to one. This is a one to two. And look, maybe a one to two they could have gone for, or maybe a one to three. That's a one to three because they're taught to go for one to twos and one to threes. And so this is what they would have been looking at. And then I'm gonna hit play. I've just paused it now. They would have been absolutely annihilated. They would have been taken out to the T. They one to three wouldn't have survived, as you can see. And look, they would have run out these lows. And they would have been banking off of this low. You know what some retail do? They like moving their stop loss lower and lower. Okay, maybe it must be this zone is looking to respect. And then they get wiped out. And this is the current price right now. When it comes to retail trading, if you're not taking your profits quickly, price will normally come back to your entry and do a madness at your entry to stop you out, stop you out break even. And if you're not closing the trade manually, then it will force you to close the trade. And so this is why retail concept trading is very tough to try and win at it's very hard to win at i'm not saying people don't win but it's very tough to win at because you're constantly being played by the opinions of the markets they put out opinions there and then they absolutely play you now let's go to what smart money and institutional traders would have been thinking at the time all right family so we're moving on to what smart money and institutional concept traders would have been seeing at the time this was something i was stressing to the team stressing to the mentees over and over and over again over a number of weeks because this is exactly Exactly what we were waiting on this is exactly what we were looking at it came exactly to the zone there was things that took us to that point that we used as reference points as well but it was it was absolutely beautiful I've literally started off from where we started off with the retail mindset but I'm gonna break down a little a few other things before that gave us confidence that price was gonna continue to run the lows so I'm putting some markers right now you can see here I've drawn up some up close candles this is absolutely key 
This is the key thing. We know that if price is respecting up close candles, you are to stay bearish at all times. It doesn't matter if they give you bullish signs within these ranges here. Follow what price is mitigating, or in other words, follow the mitigation. If price is mitigating up close candles, then you stay bearish. And so this is why when price traded up to this level, we specifically targeted the up close candle in here. We specifically targeted this up close candle. Why did we target this up close candle? There was other things as well, but I'm gonna leave that and reserve that for uh, mentorship. But this up close candle here, this one here, it violated structure, this low over here. This structural low got violated from this up close candle. So after this up close candle was produced. So that means that this is a very strong up close candle. When price returned back to the up close candle, this is where you want to be getting bearish. So once you get a reversal sign in here, you can then go and take it short. There was ways to refine it. Obviously you can see that there was imbalance between this kind of stick to wick and that one. So we know that price needs to fill in that imbalance before it dropped. And not only that guys, this is one thing I always tell my mentees and I've told you guys multiple times too, that the reason they retrace or the reason they pull back, you see this whole pullback over here, this whole pullback is to clean up what they clean up the mess they've left behind. So in this case, it would have been the inefficiencies here and maybe some drawdown in within this candlestick here, this up close candle, and to generate liquidity to run it later. Every single time they retrace, every single time they retrace, they generate liquidity beneath these lows and then they run it later. This was just a false low. That was a low generated for liquidity again, but they generate liquidity to run it later. Same thing, look, when price started retracing here, they generated liquidity beneath this low, beneath these lows, just multiple lows, but especially this one here, this is the most important one, to run it later. And it's the exact same thing that happened again. We would have been selling from this level and been constantly selling throughout the day. And there would have been different ways you could have played it. You could have held it as a swing position or you could have been doing intraday moves. We do both. We just interchange and mix up with them both. The key thing here is to stay in line with the mitigation. Stay in line with order flow. Price is respecting up close candles. So that means order flow is down. So that means you should be bearish on the swing side of things. There's gonna be different opportunities to get in with buys and just really, really short term, but you wanna be selling. This is why when price got to these support levels, let me quickly draw them up again. This was here because it was it gave retail the opinion that price could have bounced off of these levels and these levels could have been such a strong level for, for retail and that they would be jumping in with buys. But these times we're all jumping in with sales, anticipating that these triple lows here were going to be taken. So look at what we had. We had up close candles being respected. So we know all the flow is down and we know we have to follow the mitigation. We have to be selling it's selling at this point. We also know that they retrace to generate liquidity to run it later. We're moving down and there's triple lows. Everything was pointing to the downside. So this is why every single one of these bounces that they gave you, they gave you a bounce at the 61. They knew exactly the opinion that was gonna be created when they did that. And retail concept traders fell for that thing. They gave you a bounce at the 78.6. Let's, let's run it, let's, let's do it, boom. Let's do it, let me quickly show you. For those who just, you know, look at that. So they gave you a bounce at the 61. They gave you one bounce at the 78. They gave you another one, right? Let's just show you. They gave you another bounce at this, at this level, the 78 fib. And just so you guys can see it for yourself, I'm gonna just do it from the low to the high again, boom, so you guys can see it and expand it all the way out. Yeah, they gave you a second bounce at the 78.6 fib. They also gave you equal lows, equal lows. All that money, we treat equal lows differently. But we know when they're doing this stuff, the money that's being generated underneath these levels down here, more retail jumping into buys at this level, means that there's gonna be more money for us to run later. We're about to run the money. We're about to trade towards the money. And so let's quickly play it some more. This is why these levels would never have held. You should not have had confidence in these levels. So this is why trading like a retail concept trader is difficult, it's hard. It's a lot harder than trading institutional smart money because you're constantly being thrown around the market. You're constantly you know, being given one opinion, then there's another opinion. And guess what? You're falling into the traps of the opinions that the market's creating. That's exactly what you're doing. And so this is why I shed light on this on this channel. This is also the reason why I've put out a foundational course. This is not for no intermediate traders or advanced traders, but if you're a beginner Forex trader and your start out in Forex was the, the retail concept stuff, then you need to jump on that course because you need to switch up the way you, you're trading. In doing so, it's gonna save you from making tons of mistakes and you're gonna be able to be put out on the right foot from the very beginning. Anyway, find me, that's the end of the video. If you wanna know more, check out all the playlists that I have on this channel. Peace.